Hi, welcome to Gear Revolutions. I'm Alex, and today I'm here with uh, Jamie Price of Avaco, and we're going to be talking about clean gear steels. So I just wanted to start by asking um, what makes clean gear steel or clean steel different from other materials for gears? The, the big difference is on the impact of the design of the component. So mm. thinking about what the customer, the, the potential company that's going to make something out of this steel, it really starts at the very beginning. Design on the component. So when you're thinking about the power density and the size of the gear or the spindle or the that's holding that gear or the shaft that's holding that gear that's where you really start when you think about clean steel because clean steel allows for a, a different thinking in design in the past it was about to get power density we made our components bigger and bigger gear teeth bigger different shapes and now we can think about from a steel perspective when you're thinking about these critical components, the power density, because of clean steel, allows you to redesign your component to maximize all of the efficiencies that you're looking for as a gear manufacturer, a shaft manufacturer, forging these, mm -hmm. these critical components that are ending up in transmissions, gearboxes, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's really clean steel and power density is the, the theme, and that's really what makes clean steel different. Thinking about it from the beginning at the point of the design. Mm -hmm. I know power density is um, becoming increasingly important in a lot of different industries um, that gears are manufactured for, um, but what would ultimately motivate a gear manufacturer to switch to using clean steel? It's it's the uh, ability to use a steel without adding, uh, doing it through the alloying. Mm -hmm. So the cleanliness and the management of inclusions in the steel manufacturing process allows us to develop clean steels that you don't have to alloy the steel and make a, a higher, let's call it a higher and higher grade of steel so you can do it through the clean steel process to get the power density that you need. So when you're looking at um, components that need to be heat treated, you get a, a better consistency in your heat treatment. So clean steel contributes to a few things in the manufacturing process. Mm -hmm. Power density is, is the big theme, but also there's some extras that you get out of it. Heat treat is a big one. You get a consistency in your heat treat when you manage the inclusions in the steel that you're making that end up in these uh, gear products. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and as I understand it, one of the primary um, kind of sub-industries that Avaco is marketing clean steel towards is the automotive sector. Yeah. Um, what about this product makes it such a great fit for that industry? In, in one word, it's weight. So when you think about clean steel and you, you think about it from the beginning at the design phase, you can reduce the weight of the components and not lose any of the power, uh, the fatigue measurements that you need for those critical components inside of those gearboxes, transmissions. Weight is really the advantage for the automotive industry. And we see it... Uh, primarily in the drivetrains, mm -hmm. but there's some other areas in the bearings as well. Internal bearings inside of uh, the engine. Then, you know, you're also concerned about the space and the weight. And so we're seeing some uh, really good applications for gears, bearings, for power density. Okay. Uh, with, with a lot of things like um, the ongoing process of electrification, the automotive industry is seeing some kind of pretty big shifts right now. Um, with, with all of those trends affecting the industry, how does Avanco's clean steel kind of fit into some of those um, kind of shifting priorities? I think it's uh, positioned extremely well because the same challenges that we have with our existing powertrains will be there in the future. 
-hmm. It doesn't matter what the type of transportation. If we go to electric vehicles or some other type of vehicles, the weight of moving that vehicle is always a challenge. Mm -hmm. So we can contribute to reducing the weight without sacrificing any of the power demands based on clean steel, power density, fatigue. So I think that the clean steel that we can produce is positioned exactly where the future transportation you know, is going to be. And, and we see it in heavy vehicles as well. So it's not just in the automotive. Mm -hmm. And we know that heavy vehicles, uh, construction and the buses and trucks and those uh, part of the industry will have a higher demand as well. Yeah. And clean steel fits right into that. And the theme, power density, you know, can you move more with a, a smaller piece of steel, a gear, yeah. a shaft, a bearing? Yeah. Yep. And, and speaking of um, kind of industries outside of automotive, uh, what other kind of different industries that gears are commonly manufactured for can benefit from clean steel? Yeah. Any, any industry that has uh, any critical components that are moving, mm -hmm. you know, the, the clean steel allows for uh, a, a better design in the mining industry. We, we have several customers using our steels in mining applications, heavy equipment, as I mentioned, the heavy truck industry, the energy, the windmill in particular, the bearings mm -hmm. in the windmills, the large gearboxes in the windmills we're seeing clean steel applications applied there. Um, hydraulics industry, we, we can reduce the size of piston rods using clean steel in the hydraulic industry. So as the construction equipment becomes more complex, there's gonna be more hydraulic cylinders to do more articulating and they, they will have space demands as well. So we can contribute to just about any mechanical industry where there's a demand on a critical component that's moving, such as a gear, a bearing, a shaft, any of those, uh, a hydraulic cylinder, power density is always a concern. So clean steel will play a role in contributing to the advanced design of those products in many different industries. And we see today, as I mentioned, automotive is a big consumer, a big opportunity as well. Mm -hmm. The uh, energy windmills, again, mining industry, heavy equipment with fuel injections and fuel systems and uh, hydraulics. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, that's most of the questions I had. Is there anything else that you wanted to um, kind of mention in closing before we go? Yeah, just briefly that o Ovaco, we're a, uh, you know, we, we make our steel completely with recycled materials. So steel is a really wonderful product because it can be recycled over and over. So 100% of our steel is made from recycled material. And what that does with some other activities inside of our production facilities, we produce 80% less CO2s than the average steel industry globally due to our recycling use and not using iron ore as the main uh, product to make the steel and also our electric supply we have a really good source of uh, low carbon electric uh, mm -hmm. supplies so we're very conscious of what we're doing as a steel company when it comes to impact in the uh, the industry our customers can be uh, sort of proud that they're getting the, the cleanest steel inside the steel and the cleanest process to make that steel. Yeah, so thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yep. Good. This has been Gear Revolutions. I'm Alex, and I've been talking to Jamie Price.